Hello and welcome to this session. This is Professor Farhat. In this session, we would look at a tax simulation. This topic is typically covered in a corporate income tax course. The CPA exam regulation, obviously, it's a tax simulation. And if you're studying for the enrolled agent exam, this is also will be a beneficial simulation for you. As always, I would like to remind you to connect with me on LinkedIn if you haven't done so. YouTube is where you would need to subscribe. I have 1,600 plus accounting auditing finance and tax lectures this simulation will go under my tax course my corporate tax course and will go under the cpa exam so if you're studying for the exam it will be very beneficial for you if you're taking a corporate income tax course it will be very very beneficial for you please connect with me on instagram and if you like my lectures please like them click on the like button it helps me tremendously as well as share them with others on my website, you will have additional resources such as PowerPoints, True, False, Multiple Choice, exercises that are quasi CPA simulation and 2000 plus CPA questions if you're studying for your CPA exam. If you're studying for your exam, I strongly encourage you to check out my website. You will have additional resources for you to succeed on the exam. So let's take a look at this simulation and the simulation involves to compute gain recognize basis in the stock, holding period, gain recognized by the corporation, so on and so forth. So it covers, uh, it's six different questions, but it covers a lot of topics that are important for the exam. So let's go ahead and approach this simulation. So notice that this simulation, there's no exhibit, nothing like this. So if there's exhibits, don't let the exhibit scare you. All this information that's given in this problem, I can turn it into an exhibit. So rather than giving you the information per verbatim, what they would do, they will take this information and they will show it to you in an exhibit. So I'll give you an example so you know, so you are not intimidated once you get to the exam. Okay? So Singh is a single domestic C corporation on January 1st of its 2,000 issued outstanding shares. So here we go. We have 2,000 shares in total. 1,575 is, is uh, owned by SNAP, owned by SNAP, and the remainder, whatever the remainder is, is owned by unrelated parties. So that's what they told you in this statement. That's what they told you in this statement. Now, I can give you this information in an exhibit and scare you, scare the hell out of you. I will give you, for example, a, a, a grid showing you SNAP, 1,575 shares, uh, other related parties, or I can call them something else, the remaining shares. Same information, except here it's given to you in, in, in writing. So don't be scared from the exhibit. Just calm down, relax, and see what they're giving you. Okay, so far so good. On April 30th, SNAP received from Singh an additional 200 shares. So SNAP got an additional 200 shares from Singh. and $25,000 in cash. So the corporation issued the SING, issued to SNAP 200 shares, now my pen is working, plus $25,000 in cash. So SING must be giving them something else in exchange for land worth half a million. So they gave him, that's what they gave him, that's what the corporation gave him, that's what SING gave SNAP, so what did SNAP gave them? Well, SNAP gave them a land, a land worth half a million, that's the fair market value, is half a million, subject to a mortgage of 250. And there's a mortgage against that land for 250. Now, rather than telling you the mortgage is 250, I can show you the bank statement and show you that there's a mortgage on the land for 250. And like, wow, exhibit, it's dangerous. I, I, I can't read this. So here they're giving you the information. They can give you the same thing in an exhibit. Okay? The exchange was a valid for a valid business purpose and not to avoid taxes. Now, the reason they're giving you this statement is because you're going to see why in a moment. Okay? Singh had redeemed the 200 shares of stocks from unrelated party on October 31st for uh, for uh, for uh, 200,000. That's where Singh got the shares, the corporation. And the fair market value on April 30th was 1,125 per share. The stock par value was $100, which is we're not going to really use any of this, but it's given to you to confuse you. Snap purchased the land for 200,000. So this is the cost of the land. 
again rather than telling you this I can give you the closing statement for the purchase and I can show you like a fancy confusing statement but the cost of the land is 200,000 so notice why they gave you this this statement that that's a valid business purpose the cost is 200 there's a mortgage against it for 250 and there's a fair market value of half a million so there's a mortgage more than the cost all what they're telling you it's for a valid business purpose not to avoid taxes so in other words the additional we're going to see that the additional 50,000 in addition to the cost it's going to be considered a boot so he bought it on October 31st 2009 as an investment and had no made no improvement to it so they're keeping your life simple so again a lot of this information could be given in an exhibit so the first thing they want you to compute is the gain recognized by snap which is the shareholder now what did snap do snap contributed land to the corporation now the first thing we need to think about is this section 351 how do we know if it's section 351 if section 351 means means the corporate uh, the the owner will have no tax consequences let's see if it's section 351 first and look at the rules well snap used to own 1575 now it owns 200 new shares okay now the company redeemed the share from another shareholder so if we take this divided by 2000 let's see what would what how what would what would this uh, transaction give us so if we take 1575 plus 200 equal to 1775 divided by 2000 share snap owns 88 percent now let's assume you misread that they redeemed them from another related party and let's assume they issued the new shares let's assume they issued new 200 shares so here the AICPA made it easy for you and if you made that mistake let's assume you made that mistake 1575 plus 200 divided by 2200 it's 80.68 so you are still more than 80 percent why am I doing this it means 80% plus so this transaction give snap an 80% control what does that mean this means this is a section 351 now that's the good news section 351 the bad news is although it's section 351 snap received a boot well did, what did snap receive well remember snap received $25,000 in cash that's a boot and if there's a boot remember every time there's a boot you might have tax consequences because you received something so receive the boot of 25,000 so you say okay so a boot of 25,000 so it means there's get, get tax uh, tax consequences now how do we compute the, what are the what are the gain now he would need to recognize again the gain is the lower of so you need to first know the rule the lower of realized realized gain or boot now the realized gain is 300,000 the fair market value of the asset was half a million the cost was 200,000 so the realized gain is 300,000 now what's the boot the boot was 25,000 cash that's clearly there plus and here's where you students miss remember we have liabilities in excess of the cost remember the cost of this asset the land was 200,000 we had a liability of 250 liability of 250 it has a mortgage of 250 well the excess 50,000 the excess 50,000 in this situation it's a, it, it's a boot because he relieved himself of 50,000 well guess what the excess liability over the cost that's also a boot so what is the gain realized then the gain realized is 300,000 the boot is 75 we recognize the lower of these two which one the lower of these two 75,000 so the gain recognized by snap is 75,000 generally there shouldn't be any gain because it's a section 351 but since snap received a boot cash and the relief of a liability guess what snap will be hit with a with a $75,000 realized gain so we finished the first question let's go ahead and put the answer because we're gonna need this answer later on so I'm gonna delete everything that's on the screen and and go to 
go to question two. Go to question two. So the gain recognized is 75,000. It's the taxable gain that, you know, he can get away with it, 75,000. What is a snap basis in the stock? In the stock? So now, Snap received those 200 shares. What's his basis? Well, we need to know the formula for the basis. What's the formula for basis? Well, let's go through the, let's go through here. Let me, let me erase this, then go through the formula. Because wh why do I like this exercise? Because it's gonna give you a chance to practice the formula. It's the basis in the land, the basis of what you give up, plus any gain you recognized plus gain recognized. Because remember, if you recognize the gain, you pay taxes, therefore you can increase your basis, minus boot, if you received any boot, minus any liability that was relieved. Okay, let's plug in those numbers. The basis in the land is 200,000. The gain recognized is 75, so you have the right to increase your basis by 75. The boot cash received, now the boot is the cash received, 25 minus any liability minus 250. So if we net them, the basis of SNAP stocks is zero. So basis in his stock is zero. Simply put, if he sells the stock for a dollar, he's gonna recognize gain, capital gain. So the basis in the stock is zero. So now we're done with the basis in the stock. Now let's look at question three. Question three state, snaps holding period for the stock on October 31st, 2019. So so he, he owned the stock. Now he owned an additional 200 share. The question is, he got those shares from exchanging the land. What's his, what's his holding period? So when do we consider snap owns the share? Remember, section 351, basis holding period transfer. So it's basically having the land or having the stocks is a continuation. That's why section 351 is non-taxable. Well, the holding period start when he bought this land. Well, he bought this land October 31st, 2019, which is long time ago, which is 120 months, because usually they want you to do it in terms of month, and that's five years or 120 months. Why? Again, it's a continuation. It's a continuation. When section 351 applies, the reason we don't have the reason we don't have uh, gain taxable consequences because the reason is we don't it's a continuation so continuation it's also continuation for the holding period now gain recognized by sing hold on a second are we enron right corporation cannot recognize a gain by issuing its own stock <laughs> therefore gain or losses for that matter therefore zero zero this is by the corporation nothing zero that's easy answer Sinks Inc. holding period for the land. Again, it's a continuation between SNAP and Sing. If it's a continuation, as far as the corporation is concerned, 120 month period. Sing basis in the land. Now, the corporate, the corporate basis in the land. You need to know the formula for the corporate basis. You need to know the formula for the corporate basis. What's the formula for the corporate basis? It's the basis plus if the shareholder recognized any gain, recognized, recognized gain. Well, what's the basis? 200,000. Did SNAP recognized gain? Yes, he did. Look at number one. He recognized 75,000 of gain. So for the corporation, the basis is 275. Make sure you know this formula for the corporate basis. Okay, it's very two easy numbers. Basis plus any recognized gain, 275. Now, uh, if you want to learn a little bit more about Section 351, about these topics, obviously go to my income tax course, which I have plenty of resources. And if you're studying for your exam, I would like to remind you again to visit my website. Um, you study for your exam once. It's a lifetime investment. You want to make sure you you make the right investment. Um, check out my website. I have additional resources that will help you succeed. Passing the exam is important for your career. It can, it's gonna open more doors for you and it's gonna propel your career down the road and give you more option in life. Good luck, study hard, I'm always here to help you and subscribe.